it's a fairly painless bite. The leech will attach and that action is drawing the blood through the area that's congested, maybe a skin flap or a finger, and that's allowing the area to stay alive long enough to let the body repair itself. In the saliva of the leech, there are probably about 13 or 14 different anti-blood clotting uh, enzymes and, and proteins. It's something that can't be replicated in modern medicine as simply and cheaply and easily. I think it's because I'm in the environment all the time. They, they, I don't think they find the, uh, the taste of me that exciting. I've been, I've been working with leeches for so long, I just don't even think about the, the squeamishness. We make a black pudding, so we use a sausage skin, and then we fill that full of fresh, warm blood, and they just swim and, and attach to that. Any that are unfed, they will cannibalise the others, and it can be quite painstaking sometimes. If you only leave maybe two or three of them, they'll just take a little bite out of the other ones, which is quite horrific. A leech can drink five to ten times its body weight in blood, but in the lead up to being used on patients, they are put on a diet. When we ship them to the hospitals, we starve them for around six to nine months to make sure the gut is completely empty. They literally just open the pot, put the leech on, shouldn't mess about, should just bite. The unique way the leech draws out blood while giving anticoagulants has kept the leech in demand despite advances in medical science. They have attempted to make an artificial uh, leech, giving you an infusion pump where they can uh, sort of inject the uh, anticoagulants and then a vacuum pump to draw, draw away the blood. You should be looking at a piece of kit that may be in the hundreds of thousands compared to around £10 for a leech, so the cost implication is, is enormous. It's like a dirty needle, it's a biohazard. Uh, I'm, I'm slightly worse than a dirty needle. It's, it's like a dirty needle that can walk. Once they've done their important work, that they're uh, humanely uh, put to sleep. Which is, which is sad, really. We have saved I, I, probably hundreds and thousands of fingers, toes, skin flaps. We don't, we don't get to know about all cases, but it is quite reassuring to know that we, we, we were there to help.